Hello, I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcast in BHD. It has twice the stripes of BTV. Wow, twice the stripes. Now, Barry, just to give our viewers some background, had you ever been outside the hive before? Oh, no. So what happened? What led you to that first day outside? Well, Jeanette, there comes a time in every bee's life when he has to ask himself what he's made of. Is there something more? So you had an itch? Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones? A Jones let you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, yen. Because, you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. It's been said that just a mere sight of the outside can drive a bee mad. Oh, that's just an old wasp's tail. But it is big and loud. And, well, there is danger around every corner. And don't get me started on the rain. Did you say rain? Pouring rain, crazy rain, and wild animals, and humongous cars, and humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. But other than that, well, let me show you. Uh, Hal, can you roll that? Thanks. You know, I'm going with Dare. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. Listen up, boys. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission, and it needs to be completed ASAP. Oh, I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Bug Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. Nah, uh, he's with us, Lou. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. We got a rain advisory today, and no matter what some of you hotshots might think, bees cannot fly in the rain. As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled-up magazines are not your friends. Oh, and absolutely no talking to humans. Make me proud, boys. Oh, nose petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Launch! Look, I'm a B-17. Okay, this is weird. Oh. Watch out for the kites, boys. Okay, okay. I suggest we use a snake maneuver to get underneath them. It's time for some ground level recon. This is Echo Delta Niner Victor Golf Foxtrot Bravo. Niner. Military name is too hard to remember. Go bridge! <laughs> oh. Whoa, okay. take ourselves a little shortcut through the pond. Watch out for frogs, boys. Those tongues are a first-class ticket to lunch trip. And we're in the river. Get ahead. Okay, Whoa. we got us a jumper. Watch out. I'm on a roll. Take evasive action. Give up. Give up. Wow, what a view! Pathetic. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful, it's like a movie. It doesn't look real. I meant you. You want to be a pollen jock? Then where's your pollinator? How are you going to collect the pollen, genius? Stuff it in your pockets? Oh, sorry. Do you know what I could get? There. Now you're a real bee. Wow, you know it's heavier than it looks. If you do your job right, it's about to get a whole lot heavier. Oh, great. 
First, you gotta sharpen your senses, Grasshopper. Grasshopper, where? Good. Now, extract that. Nice work. Just to be sure, extract more pollen from it. To rejuvenate withered flowers, lock on by holding the L2 button. Now, hold the R2 button to spray the flower with pollen. Wow, you're a natural. Follow me. Now, this is a picture-taking spot. You'll often come across one of these in your adventure. Y you brought your camera, right? Okay. Great. Be sure to take a look at what you've unlocked in the museum once you get back to New Hive City. Okay, then. <laughs> now, I'd love to stand here and teach you all day, but we're kind of busy. Go get the flowers pollinated, mister. All right, you only have to... Uh, by the way, Oops. the radar can also be a great pollination tool. The yellow dots represent pollen-filled flowers, while the blue dots represent withered flowers. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're on pollination duty. No sweat. I think the games are multiple different like game types in it. It's interesting. I like it. A bit more diversity in the game. Let's go pollinate these flowers up here. Yeah. Okay, there's some more over here. Aha! Oh, I need more pollen. Is it just pretty finished pollinating this one? Nice. Oh, there's a hundred to collect of these things out here. Don't do this to me, please. Oh no. Oh goodness. Oh. Oh, these ones right here, sorry. Oh, down here. Ah. Sweet nectar. Oh, really? Just right at the end? Ah, let's go get... Uh, Flexibles are so annoying. I just want all of them. One beat. Already? You ain't seen nothing yet! We got trouble! Attention to all jocks! Dragonflies have entered the airspace! Come on, follow me! It's time for some action! All right, you'll sometimes come across enemy resistance. Dragonflies, wasps, and hornets won't hesitate to interfere with our work. The good news is they're allergic to pollen, and you got plenty enough with your pollinator. Use the R2 button to fire. You can lock on multiple targets at the same time. Try it! Good! By the way, you'll know you're in range to fire when your targets turn green. Be careful, though. Get too close and they'll fire at you. 
You can always evade their projectiles by quickly changing directions or by performing a barrel roll using the L1 or R1 buttons. One last thing before I let you go. We bees are equipped with a very neat feature called bee vision. It allows us to better see dying flowers and other things we can interact with. Press the bee vision button to activate it. Oh. See how dying flowers and enemies stand out from the rest? You can use this to your advantage. You'll find bee vision has other uses in due time. All right, that's enough for one day or your brain will explode. Go pollinate some more, rookie, and watch out for those nasty dragonflies. Give it up. Awesome. Today, me. No sweat. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Get some all these. That's uh, all for you, B. More dying flowers. Here you are. Sweet. Get more nectar from here, so we don't have to run out. We're going to pollinate the last few flowers, last seven flowers. Cool. Well, it also shows collectibles as well. Interesting. Cool. Okay then. What was that? What are you doing? There we go. Here, you pollinate these flowers. Just does, does it just in case measure? Here we go. Never knew the wild blue yonder could be. So exhausted. Gotta catch my breath. That looks like a good place to land. Very yellow. Ooh, soft landing. Careful, guys. It's a bit grabby. Hey, guys. I made it. Hey, new guy. Watch it. You don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. Just gonna recharge the old engine here for a sec. Ooh.
And no, I'm not gonna save, not yet. Oh, I'm gonna try and ah. Uh... Oh, I don't know if I missed that or not. Gotcha. <laughs> No, not yet. Now, listen carefully. Once you're all set, activate your beam reflexes with the circle bump and go! Hit it again, then turn it off. You may have to wait for your senses to charge back up if you use it a lot. Go! And don't waste it in a safe zone. Okay, now get under that awning, pronto! Okay. Ah. Still kicking, I see. Nice work, son. Now, if you want to get out of there ASAP, and I suggest you do, you can get a speed boost by using a wind current. See that over there? That's a wind current. Focus and get to it. Once inside, you'll be swept away fast. But watch out for water drops. I can barely see the water drops. That's a uh, very flat uh, rubbish. Off we go. Whoa. Use your B reflex, the circle button, kid. Oops. 
people. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Ah. Uh, that's not what I was supposed to do. Okay, let's pollinate these flowers. Better find some cover or you're going down the drain! That's right! Nice. Over to here. Oh, dang it. That's fine, let's go. What the hell? Hey, that looks like a good place to rest. Okay, then. Okay. Better find some cover or you're going down the drain! No, I'm in cover now, buddy. Cheers, thanks for your concern. Let's go. Oh. I'm trying! Using. Aha. Oh. Use your B reflex. The circle button, kid. Cool. So this is gonna end the episode. It's gonna end start the new episode. So I'm just gonna end this one here. So. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next episode.